Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, today we are going to solve root x plus 1 whole power 4 plus root x minus 3 whole power 4 equal to 256. We have to find the real values of x. While solving this problem, we'll use algebraic identities, we'll use quadratic equation, we'll use algebraic manipulations and we'll conclude our result. So let's get started. I am going to split the given parenthesis root x plus 1. I am writing root x minus 1 plus 2 whole power 4 plus this I will write root x minus 1 minus 2. We can write whole power is 4 equal to 256. One important point, is this equation quartic? No, because the maximum power you will be having, that would be 2. So if you will simplify, so that would be quadratic type. Once you are getting root x term, then that would be not under the category of polynomial. Okay, so we won't go into that. But this is one equation. If you will expand this one, then you will have root x term. So x power half. So the condition for polynomial that it power should be, should not be fraction. It cannot be fraction. Okay. So what I am, now I am going to do, I will consider root x minus 1 as y. Now see what will happen after that. Once I will consider root x minus 1 y, let me write here root x minus 1 equal to y. This is our substitution. Okay, so equation will convert into y plus 2 whole power 4 plus y minus 2 whole power 4 equal to 256. Done? Okay, now y plus 2 I will consider a. Let me write here a y minus 2 I will consider b. I just want to reduce the calculation. See, once I will I will be writing y plus 2 whole square again and again, then that would be complicated. So, I am writing here a and b. So, let me write here a what we have considered y plus 2 and b we have considered y minus 2. So, our equation is now a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 256. Now the turn of algebraic identities. If I will write the formula of a square plus b square whole square. One identity a plus b whole square. So I will write a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 2a square b square. Okay. So from here can we collect this a power 4 plus b power 4? So yes. We can write a power 4 plus b power 4 would be a square plus b square whole square minus 2a square b square. This result is very very important for us. Now what is our job? We will find out a square plus b square value and a square b square value. These two values we are going to find out. So let's begin. I will consider a as you can see it is y plus 2. So let me write here a square directly. So a square will be equal to y square plus 4y plus 4. Okay. b square. b square I can write y square minus 4y. a minus b whole square plus 4. Okay. Now two things are required. First one is a square plus b square. So let's find out, add them. a square plus b square will have, once I will add 4y and negative 4y will get over. So what will be left? 2 times y square plus 4. This is important, we will use it. Okay. Now second term. Second term means a square b square. So let me write here a square b square. First I will write what is a square b square. 
So if you will take the product of both. So let me write once y square plus 4. See the order. For y we will write at last y square plus 4 minus 4y. Now you can easily see difference of a square. This one in our mind a square like that. And this is b a plus b a minus b so a square minus b square what is a square so y square plus 4 whole square minus b square so i will write 4 y whole square let me write 16 y square okay now you have to only put the value of a square plus b square whole square here we are going to put the value so we have calculated a square plus b square whole square. This is a square plus b square. And see this is a square minus b square. Need to put over there. So let's put a square plus b square is that value will be 4 times y square plus 4 whole square. See it was 2 times y square plus 4. The square of that 4 times y square plus 4 whole square. Minus simply put that value. 2 times we will write y square plus 4 whole square. Once you will expand that and plus 32 y square that would be equal to 256. You can check anytime. Okay. Now what I will do see 4 minus 2 so 2. Then I will give substitution. So you won't give substitution before. Plus 32y square is equal to 256. Now let me give substitution. And our substitution is y square is equal to t. This is our second substitution. Okay. Now I will put y square is equal to t. So equation will convert 2 times t plus 4 plus 32t that would be equal to see it is a square 32t equal to 256 so now divide first by 2 so it will become t plus 4 whole square plus 16t equal to 128 once I will expand this a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus twice a b plus 16 t minus 128 equal to 0. I have taken 128 towards left. So equation will be t square plus 24 t. If you will take up minus 128 and 16 minus 112. Okay, now if you will see, I can split, rather to use quadratic formula, I can split here. I can see 112 can be written as 28 times 4 and see its difference is 24, which is our middle term. So I can use the splitting of middle term. I will write 28t minus 4t minus 112 equal to 0. So if I will write directly, then I will be having t plus 28 times t minus 4 equal to 0. So t will be either equal to 4 or negative 28. We are calculating the real solution only. So we have to reject. See t is, let me put that value, t is y square. So if I will put y square is equal to 4 comma negative 28. So obviously y square will be equal to 4 and y square is equal to minus 28. Okay. Let's take here y square is equal to 4 and y square is equal to negative 28. Now negative 28 can be written as 28 i square. So y will come out plus minus i root 28 4 times 7 so 2 root 7. You can see y is coming out complex number. If I will put the value of y also 
I will have see what is substitution hour that was root x minus 1. So I will write root x minus 1 equal to plus minus i to root 7. So this will give us complex solution. No need to further calculate this one. Because of once you will take a square both sides. So complex solution you, you will reject. Complex solution so rejected. Okay, now come to y square is equal to 4. I will write y is equal to plus minus 2. Now put the value of y. So what I should write root x minus 1. Let me write here root x minus 1 equal to plus minus 2. So I will consider root x minus 1 equal to 2 root x minus 1 equal to minus 2 and our earlier case see it was root x so x is as per our problem x cannot be negative that is domain x cannot be negative because of square root so x must be positive for real solution so from second equation it will have 1 minus 2 so minus 1 negative you are getting one square root not possible so for real solution it cannot possible now only one case is left which is root x equal to 3 if i will square both sides so i will have x is equal to 9 this is how we will find out now let's verify our result so x is equal to 9. Okay. So I will write here root 9 plus 1 whole power 4 plus root 9 minus 3 whole power 4 equal to 256. Okay. So this is 3, 3 plus 1, 4 power 4 plus 4 power, it is 3 minus 3, 0 power 4. So equal to 256. Now you will check 250, 4 power 4 is 256, it is equal to 256. Hence 9, x equal to 9 is the only real solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.